So, as I welcome you to this hour of service, I welcome you really ground into your heart because we are coming to this last Sunday, this last Sunday of 2020. It is, it is, <laughs> it is just so magnificent. Today in the morning meditation as I was sitting, I was really calling in my mighty I am presence. And I wanted to hear what did the mighty I am presence had to say about me personally in 2020? And what did it have to say for all of us for 2020? And what is it to bring into the circle? As usually Michael and I don't share with each other, neither we do with our guests what we're gonna discuss so we can just come into the presence of it. And it was beautiful as I was, there's this one of the tube of light as I was saying it over and over and over and over and over and getting lost in it. Then suddenly I heard from the great mighty I am presence within myself, I heard it's the 2020, I just want to see what the message was it was underneath it. I heard the end of humanity that thought, thought of itself as a human being has arrived. And I was like, I had this experience like a hallelujah, like, yes, that's really the end. This is like the true closure. And I said, okay, let me, let me feel that again. Let me, let me feel that again. I capture that. And I heard it again, the end of humanity, knowing itself as human beings has ended. And I was like, this is totally what I feel. But I want to capture it. I want to, I don't want to just capture it in the etheric plane, in my mental plane, in my emotion, but I want to literally like viscerally feel it. So I was like, okay, show it to me. Show it. Let me feel it. Let me, let me just, let me just start feeling it because I get excited and I can like feel the juices flowing inside of me. And then I heard it again, but I heard it differently. The same thing. I heard it inside literally the chamber of my heart in that it's ended. What's ended is the suffering. The suffering that came with individuals recognizing themselves as a human being versus a divine being of light. The amount of suffering that came, not just from this lifetime, all lifetimes, where they incarnated onto earth, they identified themselves with the attachment that came with it as a human being versus a divine being that is truly luminous, that is truly immortal, that is truly eternal. So then I sat with it and my, my heart chamber was pulsing this like truth that's so deep in my core, like that sacred luminous flame inside of me pulsing its light, that ascension flame that I know to be only truth that has this frequency that can't be captured into words. And I sat in there and, and I wanted to feel it deeper. And I wanted, wanted to feel it deeper. It says, there's nothing else to feel because you already are the fullness, the fullness, because we've become most of us crystalline already. We've gone through that crystalline, right? Like cocooning for so long, and then coming out of this metamorphosis experience, we're on the other side, there's some kind of like a little bit of leftover things that is within our field, but we still have an, a little bit of these thin layers of attachment to it. And as we wrap up this Sunday, we wrap up the last Sunday of 2020, and it is heaven. I really would like to ask all of you, don't you feel or see or believe you have transformed this year? Mm -hmm. 
So comes recognizing your own little yes belief systems, right? That no longer serve. So as we wrap up this Sunday, what we are really, I feel, wrapping up, we're wrapping, wrap, wrapping up the lingering limitations that are somewhat sitting within the field. We're blessed to do a ceremony for the New Year's Eve to wrap a few things up. That's what we're really going to get into, a ceremony. But for this Sunday, i like to take it to a bit of a sacred flame, a couple of the decrees and the oneness, and just really bring it together. The other part of today's meditation, as I was sitting, why I was feeling this in my heart's chamber, I was truly experiencing viscerally being inside inside this magnificent helios vesta the sun that we are that is within the galactic sun that is within the great central sun that is within the sun of all illumination the source of all essence so we are this incredible light of the sun literally so here we are going into 2021 and most of us are called to be in the golden age and how can we bring the golden age if you're not radiating the luminous sunlight right 2020 gave us the power 